Fall is here, winter is coming. There's always the coolest tie of the season. I'm here with Jim Moore and fashion editor, John Teets, and we're gonna look at the coolest ties for right now. Jim, you got a bunch behind you. What is going on back there? <laughs> Bring racket ties everywhere I go. Um, <laughs> Just kneel behind you. I think if we were standing here a year or two ago, most mm -hmm. of these ties would be silk. Right. But believe it or not, every one of these ties are wool. These are not the old wooly ties you remember of the past. It's not a fox hunting tie. This is not right. like, you know, you're in Scotland and, This you is know, a business tie. This is a business tie, well, yeah. You know, like sending emails, what we do now. We got it down to these five because they kind of serve a different purpose in a guy's wardrobe. This right. is the, your wool tie arsenal right here. The first one is a mini check, and we love how dressy this is. Next to that, we have a hound's tooth. This was on the cover of the September issue of GQ. Stephen Colbert. Was he uh, maybe smoking a pickle? Smoking a pickle and having a, having a mug of coffee. That's from Tommy Hilfiger, that's an awesome tie. This is from a relatively new tie designer, his name is Alexander Olch, and this is what I'd call a blanket plaid. Mm -hmm. And it's, the thing I love about it is, yes, it's a big plaid, but there's a real subtlety to it because of this pale gray. I have a question about a tie like this. Could you wear it with a patterned suit? You could, but you would want this shirt to be solid. Right, so balancing everything out. Exactly. Right. This next one is called a foulard, and this is printed on wool. This is a real old time fabric, and I'm telling you, this tie will look so good with anything, from a gray suit to right. a navy suit, to a pinstripe, to a tweed jacket. This is a wool rep tie, and I have to say that this is one of the most unusual because you always see reptiles in silk. Right. You always see them in a very preppy way, but this really has a continental feel to it. You don't need a navy blazer with gold buttons and pink boat shoes exactly. to wear that red tie. Exactly. I'd say if you've got these five ties in your arsenal or something similar to it, you're going to be set for the season. And I think what you're going to want to do is take those silks and move them to the back of the closet, especially for fall. Right. Maybe one day they'll come back in style, but this fall, it's all about the wolves. It's all about the wolves. All right. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.